We've all heard that cats have nine lives. Apparently, JPEG cats only have one. Things were looking good for the op cats. They had this embarrassing video. OP cat is an op code, originally in Bitcoin, used to concatenate, which is a fancy word for join. They also had whatever the hell this thing is. But then something seemed to have gone wrong. It's just that uh, the, the servers are having problems serving that many people. Oh, we're getting there. So is this like a bear case for the Amazon servers? All right, I'll take that as <laughs> No comment. I think it's the Max. He's trying to take this now. All right. And then all of a sudden, their posts start disappearing. And then the unhappy people that were actually waiting on this start to chime in. Shame on you guys. You call yourself OGs. Your server couldn't handle 333 people. How will it handle 3K? 14 million in funding raised, all going in the drain. Can't hire a good developer and bogus web management team. And then I thought this was a fantastic tweet that came from Bitcoin Creative. How do you own something that might just disappear or change suddenly without your consent? And, and again, guys, this, this is why, right, when we talk about the JPEGs on this, I've said this before, I don't care what you do with your money, but you should understand the risks of what you are doing with your money. Indeed, there is some data that is added to the Bitcoin blockchain, but without these third party viewers, that data is not really legible. Okay. It doesn't really matter. So you need these third party viewers. And as a result, those third party viewers, well, there's some weird things that can happen with them. Let's, uh, let's take a look at some of the fine print here with the, uh, the quantum cats. Each quantum cat's inscription is provided as is without warranty of any kind. Yeah, well, it's it's a JPEG. <laughs> so it is hereby clarified that the quantum cat inscriptions are subject to change in the unique piece of digital art in each quantum cat inscription that may occur over time. Taproot Wizards makes no warranty that quantum cat cats taproot wizards inscriptions will meet your requirements be continually displayed or be available on an uninterrupted secure or error free basis so that's right there's people who paid twenty four hundred dollars for a jpeg um that they actually could have gotten for free and they would get to save it to their phone and every time they would look at it the representation of that jpeg would stay the same um, but because they've chosen to get grifted in this manner, um, it turns out that what you bought isn't so permanent, isn't really yours, and doesn't really have that low time preference quality that people have come to expect from Bitcoin. So anyways, the reason why I did this clip is because I just wanted to show the other utter ridiculousness of this whole opcat mint. Now, you know, people are going to sit there and say, oh, well, you know, people have issues all the time. 300 people coming to a web server, right, to mint some shitty JPEG. If your system can't handle that, that's pathetic. It's embarrassing. Okay. It, it really is embarrassing. And I just, you know what, to a certain extent, I do feel bad for the people that got grifted, you know, into this narrative of the JPEGs. I, I do. You know, and now it's causing a whole giant stir in the Bitcoin community, causing, and I put community in quotations, the Bitcoin network, because there are all different factions of people that have different beliefs on how this should be, uh, how this should be solved. Should it be solved at all? Is there anything to solve? Uh, I mean, it, it just, look, it, it's going it's going around in circles and, and we're not making any real progress. And in the meantime, grifters like this get $14 million for selling you JPEGs they can't even deliver on, okay? So anyways, guys, yeah, opcats, uh, apparently, like I said at the beginning, supposedly cats have nine lives, opcats had one, and they blew it. Guys, let me know what you think. Put it in the comments. I will catch you all tomorrow. <laughs>